welcome and welcome back to the channel guys uh real quick <laughs> real quick okay guys i got this uh i think this is a 2013 or 12 chrysler 200 all right now i'm sure y'all can see right now about the check in the light the gas cap light was on right here it's not on right now i think when i cycle the key it may go off uh oh and the airbag light is on okay all right guys stay with me don't go anywhere let's start this diagnosis man Ain't no sense of wasting time let's get it need the key on all right guys just as i suspected uh there is fault codes in the pcm or cwcm yes hvac okay it does has a hvac model let's take a look at uh all dtc and what we will find is oh here's the reason why the airbag light on it's active guys which means uh, that's lost communication with up front left satellite accelerated sensor. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a look in front of that bump and see if that impact sensor has been damaged. All right, now as far as the check engine light, why that's on is a loose cap, EVAP system loose cap, and 0456 EVAP system small leak detected. Okay, we're gonna have to run an EVAP system test for that. And, and of course, the tip on we have some. Uh, light codes going on i'm gonna check all the lights when i get it uh when i get back over there but this is our biggest problem guys these three fault codes here this is why the check engine light on this is why the airbag light on let's go back to the car and do a major visual inspection and see where we go from here guys because you never know until you get a good visual it's nice to do a good visual before you start doing anything testing replacing parts just Look things over, guys. Give yourself a peace of mind. All right, stay with me. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Let's uh, pop this hood and uh, visual inspections, baby. People. All right, it's nothing like it. Just look around. Nothing else. Just look the whole car. Or look around the whole car. All right. So let me prop this hood up. Ah, 3.6 DVT. Love these engines. And by the way, guys, I did hear some tapping noise. <laughs> so in the future, they will need some uh, probably ro uh, rocker arms. I'm going to inform them, let them know, see if this is the best time to get it while it's ticking. Okay, because you do not want it to eat into the cam. I'm sure y'all done saw some of my 3.6 videos on what happened if you prolong that ticking noise. All right, uh, well, that airbag light was on. Those are... Uh, impact sensors are somewhere in the front guys somewhere in the in front of the bumper in the event of a crash uh that sensor will activate and turn the airbag light on and that's how that airbags whoa oh man hey problem right here oh that's why that code is active oh lord they got some rats ladies and gentlemen this look like the job of squirrels. Oh boy. So that's likely not any physical part damage, just uh, wiring, open circuit. And y'all know all the lights, the lights code that I saw? Uh, all those lights from the tipple? That's exactly what that was causing that. Okay? That's exactly what's causing that. This is the tipple. We had like four fault codes uh, pertaining to lights and i told y'all i was gonna check the headlights and the tail lights they all open circuit code i guarantee you and that's because uh the whole harness is wires are, are open something been chewing on this i don't i can't see anybody physically doing this actually see if this wire was routed the way it's supposed to i can't imagine that wire being on top of there how did it even get up there wow guys that's either a sabotage job or Mm. Okay, so I got to write up an estimate on <laughs> wiring repair. You do not have to do the whole harness, guys. You just got to cut and splice back together uh, the open wires. Okay. Uh, wow. Startle. Uh, uh, haven't seen nothing like that in a long time. Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Y'all remember the 200 that I was working on a while back? Um. Uh, this one had the evap leak, small evap leak, and we traced it all the way to the uh, fuel cap. Well, yeah, remember that car had two problems, all right? So she 
finally back for me to wow get this wiring repair now guys this is fairly it, it, I mean this as you can see right here this has to some kind of little squirrels or some had to been in here chewing on this all right as far as repair the main issue you're gonna have to deal with is just matching the of course you're gonna have to make the connection back between the particular wire color back to the other particular wire color all we are doing is closing the circuit on all the open circuits okay that can become extremely tedious long boring and tedious so what I'm gonna do uh, I just want to make sure you guys know what I'm doing or understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it okay because I would not be able to film uh, wow little mini mouse just really got in there and did a number on this one. Uh, remember guys this is the one that had the fault code for the tail lights don't work airbag light on ABS light on I'm sure everything that doesn't work run through this harness because I had a lot of uh, open circuit codes and uh, circuit high codes that led me to believe that uh, circuits was open so that's when I started looking around that's why I'm a big advocate of visual inspection okay guys always look things over before you start pulling out your voltmeter motor meter and doing that, all that electrical stuff just get a car a good visual inspection all right so guys um like i said i'm not gonna be able to film all me uh tracking all this down and uh making the connection but i'll try to do maybe one so but you get to understand you get the idea of what i'm doing that's my biggest concern making sure you guys understand what I'm doing so get a good uh, get the harness in a good position okay I might have to take it out from here I just got a little boat right there and so I can have the harness set right here all right let me grab a little socket right here and get this harness set up so we can start opening this up and closing it back up properly all right um oh man okay yeah let me grab a couple tools guys all right, welcome back, guys. I remember I told y'all I had to go ahead and remove the little bolts that was holding that so I can get a better view of the harness. Well, I have the harness split, and I have it uh, pretty much open, okay? Now, okay, because <laughs> this is strange, guys. I want to show y'all something. I'm going to share this with y'all. This is really strange. Okay, take a look at this, guys. Y'all see this right? Yeah, come on, focus, phone. Y'all see the color of these wires? It look like blue and white and blue and violet, something like, like that. I found four wires right here that's cut. Let's go back into this harness. All right, and I found this harness split. This is the AB. This is why the airbag light was on. Y'all see that? That goes to the impact sensor. Okay, so that's understandable. Now, and I have two wires came out of this harness that was split. Okay, I want y'all to look at this, guys, because this is what drives people crazy. Y'all see this? The colors right here in this part here are different colors than the output. <laughs> y'all see that? That look like green. I don't know, see my phone not focusing, but that look like green and white right there. And that look like a solid green right there. But if you go on farther down, it's blue and white. Now, there's only two wires in this. If I pull that tape back, it's still going to be only two wires. But it's like they change colors right up in here. Now, even these two wires, this white and blue and this white and red, it doesn't match this yellow and orange wires up here. But these are the only two wires that's cut. So they has to go there. Now, what you can do is peel back even further and make sure. Because, guys, we got to make sure the wires match. All right. We don't want to spike the wrong thing or solder in the wrong thing, but those are the only four wires, four wires right here, and I got four right here. They has to go to each other. I can understand these two right here. So these two has to match these two. All right, guys, I'm pretty much wrapping this up, uh, but I want to point out something to you guys. Um, uh, a lot of you guys already know this. Uh, I just said I haven't done it in a while, but you see, the colors of the wires right here inside of here obviously this has been exposed to sunlight or outside and has changed colors because if you go pull it back deeper into the tape 
you can see that this is white and red which is also the same color as this All right so I did join the two correct wires together okay so if you have to go farther back into the harness to find out what color is what then do that all right just to make sure you get it right okay guys i'm gonna finish soldering this up and uh heat shrink tube it and i'm gonna wrap this up guys this should take care of all my problems as far as the, the electrical wiring harness and stuff all right that's all i have thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video